And the reason truth is a basis of all spirituality and morality, because without truth, you simply don't have the others. In fact, it says, Gandhi said, it says in scripture, truth is God. <laughs> right? Because truth is reality and reality is God. So all, all things actually come from truth, but especially directly, all things that we say we want, all things that we say are good, all things that help us spiritually return to that state of oneness. They have their source in truth. And so that's why in our daily lives, so bringing it from that grand scale to our daily mundane lives, truth can solve your problems. <laughs> right? In fact, not only that, I say truth is the only uh, resolution of problems. I've said this a lot and I'm willing to put it to a test. If you examine any long-standing problem, it's always untruth at the core of it. Somebody's lying, somebody's in denial, something's hidden. <laughs> or somebody does, or something's not understood. Right? It's going to be one of those things. And then if you result, examine any resolution of a long-standing problem, it's always truth that does it. Right? What was hidden, it's uncovered. <laughs> The lie was destroyed. <laughs> what was not understood became understood. How about this? Everyone likes light. Everyone, does anyone sign their letters, love and light? Love and light, it's a big phrase right now, right? What does light do? It reveals what's there. Light reveals truth. So all, there's all this talk of love and light but how many people actually love truth? How many people love what the light reveals? And if you don't love truth, you don't love light. And so we were talking in one class about why is this all this talk about love, and yet there's a relationship crisis in the West, and people cannot stay together, which is obviously, you can point to it, it's gonna be due to lack of love. Because without truth, love is not love. And it can go on and on, right? 